There are several different ways to get references into EndNote, and we're going to look at three different ways today. We'll start with entering references manually. Now, hopefully you won't have to do this too often. However, it's quite a good way to learn how references work in EndNote, so that's why we start with it. So there are a number of different ways to create a new reference. I can use the New Reference button here, or I can use the keyboard shortcut Control n or I can go up to References in the menu and choose New Reference. And when I do that, I get this New Reference window that comes up. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that at the top there is a field called Reference Type, and that by default is set to Journal Article. So it's important to choose the correct reference type for the reference you're wanting to enter. So for instance, let's imagine I am going to enter a book reference. I need to choose a book type reference here rather than the default journal article. So I click the down arrow on the uh, drop down menu and I type B for book and it will scroll right to the B's and I can choose book. Now the fields underneath, and a field is just every different piece of information that we need to enter, they all change so that they suit a book reference. I can enter the data into the fields by just clicking underneath the name of the field and typing. So I'm just going to enter the author of a book. And I'm using the format last name, comma, initial because I'm using APA style. However, it is um, an interesting point about EndNote is it, it's quite clever. So if you entered this name as, say, first name, last name, EndNote could still work out what this is and could turn that into a proper APA reference. And now I need to enter a date of publication, so that's the year. I need to enter a title. And I need a publisher. Now that's all I need for a simple book reference. And I can close this window and go back to my main EndNote library in a couple of different ways. One way is to click the little X that's at the top here, but I have to be careful not to click the big X because that will close down EndNote completely. So rather than using that little X, what I tend to do is use a keyboard shortcut because it's much easier. So Control W on a PC or Command W on a Mac is the command to close down that window and go back to the main library. I will get a message asking if I want to save my changes and I can say yes I do. And now I can see in my main window, my main panel of my window, I can see my reference. Over here on the right hand side, we have all the different fields and I can make quick changes in here. So if I've made some mistakes, um, let's say this is called something else, I can easily make the change there. Now there's another keyboard shortcut that's really useful if you make changes in this window. Control S on a PC or Command S on a Mac. That's to save changes quickly. So I can Control S there and save my change. Um, I might change that back actually because that really wasn't the title. I was correct. So Control S to save. And another very useful feature of EndNote is this Preview tab. So when I click on the Preview tab, what I see is the way that this reference will appear in my reference list. So this is very useful because any time I enter a reference, or even more useful when I import a reference from a database, I need to check in the preview tab to make sure it's a good APA reference. And if it's not, then I can go back to the reference tab and make my changes. Or another option is to double click on the reference in the center panel, make my changes here, and then close the window using Control W again. Now I'm going to enter a few more references, so I'm going to click the New Reference button this time, and I'm going to enter a journal article, so I'll leave the reference type as journal article. So then I can put in my details. Now this journal article has two authors, so in order to enter a second author, I just hit the Enter or Return button, and I put the second author on the next line. And you can do this for as many times as there are authors. So there are my two authors. Now I put in the year of publication of this issue of the journal. I need the title, which is the article title. And the title of the journal, which goes under journal. 
then I need the issue and the volume. So this is volume 6, issue 1. I'll need to put in the page numbers. So this is the page range of the article in this particular issue. It goes from page 32 to 54. And then lastly, I'm going to put in the DOI. So a DOI is a unique string of numbers and sometimes letters as well that identifies a particular uh, document on the internet. It's usually applied to academic journal articles by the publisher. So if the article that you're using has a DOI, then it needs to be there in the reference. So I've pasted that number which I copied from a from a location that I found this article. I've pasted it into the DOI field. And now I can control W to close this reference and say yes I want to save the changes. And I'm going to check preview again. There we go, that looks pretty good. I can go and check the APA 7th referencing guide now, make sure this is correct for a journal article, um, but I think that looks pretty good. Lastly, I will make another reference for a web page. So websites are called web pages in, a, in a EndNote. So I choose web page for the type and I'm going to enter the details. This is a web page by Employment New Zealand. So that's a corporate author or group author, so not an individual. I'm going to add a year. Now there's actually no date on this page, so I need to use n.d.nodate. And there's a title of the web page as well. And lastly, I have a URL to add, so I'm going to paste that into the URL field down here. There we go. Now I'm going to Control W to close this window. And I'm going to have a look at the preview. And I can see I have got one problem. So the name of the author, which is a group, a corporation, it should, or a government department in this case, it should just say Employment New Zealand, says Zealand, EN. So what EndNote is doing is treating the words Employment New Zealand as if they were a person's name with a last name and first names which it's turned into initials. So that's not what I want. There's a clever little trick you can do to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Right after the last word of the group or the corporation or the organization that you want to be your group author, just put a comma. So a single comma, and then remember you need to save this change. So Control S or Command S to save. And when you check the preview again, you'll see that it's now formatted correctly.